Hey guys, we're gonna custom paint a hydro flask today. So you guys have probably seen these videos trending by now. And I thought it would be really fun because this is a way to encourage people to be environmentally friendly, reuse their cups and whatnot. All right, hold up a second. If you're my mom and you're watching this, click away. Don't watch any further, okay? Thanks. So this is gonna be a Christmas present for my mom. I'm going to decorate it with stuff she likes because she really likes having cold liquid and she loves reusable cups and stuff. So I thought this would be a really cool idea for her. All right, now that we're caffeinated, hydro flask. What are we gonna do with this thing? Hmm. So I did something similar with Starbucks cups in a recent video and I customized them with Posca pens. And this one was my favorite. So I want to do a gradient effect similar to this, but not the same thing. I think we'll do this combination. Here goes, here goes. Wait, I should shake this for luck, right? Alrighty, we're done. No, I'm just kidding. We're, we're just getting started. Let's, let's keep going. All right, we're moving on to the next color. I'm going to block in all the stripes and then blend it after everything is blocked in. So it might look janky at first, but bear with me. Ooh, that sound. So satisfying, right? Okay, this layer is almost dry, so time to just keep going. I'm excited to show you guys what's gonna go over top of all these stripes because it's not just gonna be a gradient. There's something like really, really cool coming. So stick around for that because there's gonna be a little twist soon, you know? All right, let's use this pink marker next. is time consuming. I didn't think it would take this long. Okay, question of the day. What kind of drinking apparatus do you use when you leave your house? Do you use something reusable or do you use a plastic water bottle? I use like a tumbler with an aluminum straw, but uh, my husband banned it from the car because it, it rattles every time you go over a bump. You know what I'm talking about? Potholes in Ohio. Okay, it's time to blend out this bad boy. I'm taking these smaller markers and this is what I'm doing. Very similar to the Starbucks cups I did. I think it's time we add some tropical flair to this baby. Ooh, make sure this marker is clean. Okay. Don't know what I used with it last, but it wasn't very clean. 
Boy, does it make me nervous to freehand this or what? <laughs> I just poured my heart into this gradient. accidentally touched it. Go me. Figures. <laughs> oh boy. I, I have to let that area dry a little more. I'll go over it again. Don't you worry. It's finally looking better. All right, approaching with caution because this is still wet and I have smeared it with my hand so many times now. I'm gonna lose my cool. <laughs> so I have four leaves going around it. And my question, do you think I should do gold outlines on the leaves? So like when you turn it, it like kind of shines. Can y'all even tell how metallic that is? I don't know. It, the camera isn't doing it much justice. Wish there was a better way to hold this. It's an awkward object to um, do art with, but whatever. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is play it safe and do an outline around this Hydro Flask logo, just to see if I should do it around all the leaves, you know? It would kind of suck if I didn't like it and then I already did one leaf or something. I just don't trust this. <gasps> all right, why are we whispering? Do you guys ever like whisper when you get nervous? Or no, here's a kicker, okay. Do you guys ever like purposely whisper as a social experiment just to see who else joins in on whispering? <laughs> And then people are like, why are we whispering? I like to do that sometimes, just to, you know, see what happens. Can you tell? Is it metallic on here? I don't know. This is a tough decision. See, purple would blend in with the bottom. Is that such a bad thing? Don't know. Or red. I just, I think purple would look really good. baby in with some varnish and call it a day. This is what it is right here. I don't actually have the spray sealant and I know that would be better to use, but look, your girl's on a budget. She's gonna use what she has. Oh, 
This is so satisfying. <laughs> it really makes the colors look more saturated. I love it. Just gonna awkwardly hold this until it dries. Dude, I gotta show you some genius stuff. You see it back there? <laughs> yes, life hacks. That little hook on my pegboard suspends this perfectly. Oh yeah, baby, you can dry now. Uh -huh. That concludes the Hydro Flask. I'm really excited about how this turned out. I was a little nervous at first because the Posca pen was scuffing really easily, but off camera I actually did like two layers of everything and that solved the problem really fast after I had the second layer. And then yeah, I varnished it and it's all sealed in now. We're good. Everything is hopefully good. I'm really excited to give this to my mom for Christmas. She lives in Florida and she loves plants and pink and all things tropical. So this is like screaming her personality right here. Anyway, if you want to see more videos where I customize things, you can click this playlist or you can click links down below too. And if you're new here, I would love to have you join our art family and subscribe. It's a fun community and we do lots of uh, fun things. There it is. I was looking for the logo. Okay, bye. Have a good day. Bye.